How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to reset your Google Chromebook back to factory settings. And what you're going to do is come to the bottom left corner and click on the Chrome icon. It will launch the web browser. From there, come to the upper right corner, click on the X right un excuse me, not the X, the menu right under the X. Click on there, come all the way down to settings. Okay? And once we click settings, you're going to scroll to the bottom and click show advanced settings. Okay? Which will open up more options. You're going to come all the way down to the bottom where it says power wash. Remove all user accounts and reset your Chromebook, your Chrome device to be just like new. That's what we want to do. Click power wash. And it will say a restart is required before your device can be reset with power wash. So we'll restart it. And restarts are super fast on the Chromebook. Excuse the camera, it's going to trip a little bit. That's why we get it in order. And that's my finger. i got to clean that lens off a little bit. Uh, here we go. Power wash your Chrome device. A power wash resets your Chrome device to be just like new. All files and media stored locally on your computer will be erased. So most things will be stored online anyway, so that's no big deal. We'll click reset. And that's it. Now this process can take anywhere from 30 seconds to a couple of minutes. Um, and it just says it right now. Power wash, hap power wash is in progress. Power washes happen with critical errors are detected. Or when you choose to reset your device, this will reset Chrome OS to be just like new and you'll be back in operation in just a minute. So it's a quick process. Um, I think my memory card is about to run out, so I may not be able to capture the whole thing, so um, I'll wait out for a couple of seconds. Oh, I think that's it. Wow, that was super fast. Probably one of the fastest factory resets I've seen before. And there it is. We're reset brand new once again. So um, that's it. That's how you reset back to factory settings, guys. And I hope you found this helpful. Make sure you like the video if you did find it helpful. Subscribe to H2Tech Videos. And have a good one.